I get invited to uh, a very special place. And uh, this week, uh, you know, Amsterdam is the gay capital of the world. And I was invited by uh, a man named Seep, who uh, there, he thinks that there's a crisis in the gay community in Holland because gay tourism is down. And uh, he wanted to invite me out to see uh, a night on the town and see if it was still cool to be gay in Amsterdam. Take a look at our big televisie. Okay. Tom, I see you. I see you, Tom. I invited you. Come here. Oh. There is a big, big crisis in Amsterdam, Tom. But there's a crisis. The gay yeah. scene's in trouble. Gay tourism is down. Yeah. yeah. Can you give me a hand as well? Because I don't feel comfortable. Absolutely. Right. See, come yes. here. Baby, come here. Do I, I can tell already. Napoleon already. Please, tell everyone about Napoleon. Yeah, Napoleon, uh, that was the big emperor from France. And the first things he did in Holland was to make the gay people feel better. Then, in 1811, there was no crisis at all. But now, in the year 2002, there is a crisis. And I invited you to Holland. You're inviting me to a night in the gay Amsterdam yes. scene. Because I want to show you the crisis. Now, see, is that headdress for uh, any guys who want the Yasser Arafat fantasy? Yes. Do a lot of gay men uh, fantasize about Yasser uh, Arafat? Only 1% of the gay men. <laughs> only 1%? <laughs> Do you think the gay scene is in trouble? Well, Are I gays going to nicer places or...? Uh... I, I don't think so. There, there are more places uh, which is nice for gay tourists to go which I think is a very good thing. Is Amsterdam still the gay capital of the world, you think? I think so, yeah. What kind of, what kind of bar is it? The April. That is the oldest bar in this street. God damn, you're a tall woman. <laughs> Sorry. Now, this, this is why I'm going to stop drinking alcohol, because the transvestites are beautiful here. Thank you. But they keep saying the tourism is down. Is business, how's business been? This is his better than that. Get that boy home, he's ready. He put the fucking microphone in his mouth. What's more special about the Amsterdam gay scene than London? The boys are there. He's here. <laughs> That's them, they're gorgeous, but big dicks, and they, and they say thank you. <laughs> They're gorgeous. They have big dicks, and they say thank you. They do. It's marvelous, really. Because in London, they 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 smile. They make you tough. But you do. What's so special about the Amsterdam gay scene? I don't know because I'm not gay. Okay. <laughs> Are you here maybe considering the possibility? <laughs> hey, must be the show, okay? You know. <laughs> right. His lips are juicy. Kiss him. Kiss him. Uh, what the Sorry. Where are we at now? Lel le See, get your hand out of my bed. Where are we at, man? I gotta hold him in. We are in the Lel le Almost the Lel le Yeah. That's the Dutch word for nice little lady. Let's go see. Let's go meet the nice Dutch little lady. Yes, so let's be glad she's a man. You're a very beautiful woman. Thank you. I know that. So, do you think Amsterdam is still the gay capital of the world? I think the ca gay capital is yourself. Uh, I'm the gay capital? Are you gay? You must be 100% gay. I'm not gay, but I'm willing to take classes. Lessons? <laughs> <laughs> see, I'm, see, yes, see thinks I'm funny. <laughs> I don't think the gay scene is in crisis at all, man. I, I, think, I think the gay scene is very alive and very fun and happening. Yes, I think so too. I take back all everything. There's everything. no crisis. Everything's no okay. No crisis at all. There's no. Yes, <laughs>